Hiya folks, Texera here, and we're back with some more Let's Play Civilization V, Gods and Kings, Attila vs. the World. Now, let's see, when we last left off... Lots of stuff was going on. And when we last left off, we had tried to take Gandhi out of the game early on. And we were successful in capturing Delhi. However, Gandhi had instead moved up and managed to take control of one of the city-states. So he has survived that way. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to finish him off yet. I, I want to, but I just do not have the firepower for that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to wait 10 turns, get all of my uh, battering rams up there, and keep them ready to do some real damage when I get the opportunity. So we're going to wait 10 turns and then redeclare war on Gandhi. Now, I did get a very helpful comment in uh, one of my other videos that suggested I use some of these battering rams during this time of peace to protect my workers from the barbarians. And I would very much like to do that, uh, where possible, <laughs> at least. Okay, so, hmm, the problem is I can't get the, uh, the barbarians, or I can't get my, uh, battering rams too far from the uh, from Gandhi's last city here so I'll have to focus on maybe protecting this worker with a battering ram and I'll have to keep a very very close eye on the number of turns before I can declare war on Gandhi again Ideally, too, I would like to be able to head directly into his territory and immediately start attacking his city. The one concern is I know he had another settler, and I'm almost certain that he'll get another city set up, but I think if I can keep him knocked down a fair amount then we probably won't have a problem okay you can attack them you get a promotion I could heal you up but hmm actually a medic upgrade would be nice if I need to get you up supporting those uh, bad room. Well, I guess it's all rough terrain. No, I don't think I need that for the battering rams. Because I think this guy's just going to be killing barbarians here. And we've got a lot of rough terrain because of those marshes that we need to clear out. But I think I'll get the shock anyway because eventually we're going to take out all of those marshlands okay I do apologize if the video is a little bit laggy or if my frame rate is slow um, I'm sh recording this at the same time when I'm uploading one video and um, processing another so that's probably going to be quite a bit on our um, system resources here um, let's go ahead and leave you on alert mode right there and go let's get you away from that barbarian I want that barbarian giving giving Gandhi grief, not giving me grief. Okay. And 
Man, okay. Yeah, he's denouncing us. That's fine. I, I couldn't care less if he's denouncing us. Someone else is built. <laughs> Someone else has built a wonder. Okay. Now it should be tricky for Gandhi right now because he's um he's in an occupied city. This is his only city, so he's got to be taking a uh, happiness hit right now. And let's see, Attila's court. Ah! Freaking things. Let's get you over here. You over here. I want to heal you up again. And we've got a horse archer now. Perfect. Okay, so let's get you that way. And the horse archer, we will bring up here. So we're basically going to get our units surrounding Gandhi and come at him on all sides. In fact, I'm actually going to change the production here and get myself another battering ram because I'm going to want more battering rams. And ooh, I do need that courthouse though, but because I can't raise this city since it's a capital. So I will need that courthouse and I eat I'm losing money too. Crap. Um, oh boy. Let's build walls after that because I've got to be fairly careful with my money. And until it's court. Oh gosh. I don't think I can actually afford to build that temple. Um, currency is in seven turns. Definitely going to want to grab those markets and the mints. You know what? That'll, that'll be fine. That will be fine. I'll just have to deal with the hit to my money. Oh wait, maybe I could find a barbarian encampment somewhere in... Yeah, if I sent some guys out to clear a barbarian encampment, that would give me money for that. And also culture for killing the barbarians. Aha! Yeah, let's go clear that out. So let's see. Tilla's court. Ah, I want the culture though. You're only at 32 hit points too. Let's just heal and have you wait a turn. And down here. Let's get a horse archer instead of that temple, which is not going to be great for our money, but it will help me clear this out. And right now, that's what I need. Okay. Let's get our guys up and around. this end you 
you can fortify until you heal. And next turn. Actually, ideally, you, I would want you over here. So let's see if I can do that. Jeez. You know, the ideal place for these battering rams is going to change every single time Gandhi goes because he's constantly shifting his units around. So maybe I should just leave some of them where they are. Okay. Okay. Oh, crap. Ola. Let's go ahead and attack them. These guys. Let's see. They can go ahead and finish these guys off. You can come down here. And that will get us some extra culture as well, which is great. Okay. So I think I'm going to possibly leave the horse archer here for a bit just to pick off what guys are remaining. <sighs> Definitely need those. Definitely need those markets. Oh, we are going to be in so much trouble if we don't get those markets up. Oh no! Ooh, only two more religions can be founded, and we have a lot of faith to go to get a great profit. Oh boy, are we going to... If we miss out on getting a religion, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a serious problem. So... Crap. Uh, heal up. You can go ahead and fortify. You can pick off those guys. You will be making a battering ram. Uh, after the walls, I will need that temple. Damn. <laughs> Can I just like plonk somebody into the market? It'll stagnate the city, but. You know what? I'm okay with stagnating the city for the sake of. making sure I don't go bankrupt. Let's see, if I go back to default focus here, wow, that actually causes me to lose money. So we'll stay there, and I've got no, no specialties. That's weird. How do I have a market in... How do I have a market here? Um, I'm not sure how that's a thing. Alright, um... Ah, come on. Really? Okay, these guys need to die. Oh good, I met a city-state, so that gives me some more gold. Which is wonderful, because I need gold. I cannot last like this for much longer. In fact, this horse archer and that battering ram are going to be 
a pretty big hit to my um, my ability to well it's gonna be a hit to my money but fortunately the horse archer will be able to start picking off these guys and then I can advance over here okay so first things first let's hit the archer there good take them out bring the great general along okay that frees up that money uh, this battering ram can just come up here okay good and we're still losing quite a lot of money good 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 is that pillaged think that is pillaged. Okay, well, I need to get that repaired as soon as possible. So both of you go up and get that fixed on the next turn. And let's go. Because if I can get that repaired, I'll get more gold. And I really need that fixed as well. Damn, these freaking barbarians. Okay, we're currently six turns from bankruptcy. Two turns from a mint, uh, from a, being able to start building markets. And four from a temple, jeez. This is gonna get ugly. Uh, okay, um. You know what, why don't you finish off this guy? You can safely heal up here before we go after that encampment. Yep, there is Gandhi's next city. So I'll have to, the next time I go to war with him, I'll have to knock that down as well. That actually might be easier to take out first. So let me, let's see, if I move this guy up here. And if I move this guy over here. And I have this worker go there. And this warrior, you can stay in alert mode. And this battering ram can go over here. Okay, so we can go to our next turn. Unlock currency. Currency. 